All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the most powerful astral projection technique that will let you astral project tonight. Now, this is the technique that I've been using and it's given me some pretty crazy results. So I really wanna share this with you in this video. So this is basically the technique that I sort of experimented with and I've been playing around with a bunch of techniques. This is the kind of one that I feel was the most effective or the most powerful in terms of the least amount of time spent practicing it and the most results, you know, the most interesting results. So this is the most powerful technique I've found. And so it actually felt really incredible. What I did was I was able to project out of my body and up into sort of the clouds above my house. I was able to look down on the house and sort of see it from above. Um, and then what I ended up doing is, I, I can't remember why, but I ended up projecting into this sort of, this kind of cafe place. I don't really know where it was, but I started the experience above my house. And then the next thing I know, I'm flying into a cafe and I'm just sort of floating there in this weird cafe. I have no idea why. <laughs> I could have gone anywhere, but I chose that place. Now this is the short version of, um, this could be a much longer video actually. I, I might make a longer video in the future. I do actually have a more detailed tutorial on my channel, but this is the short version. I wanna make it as powerful as possible. And it's gonna be based around what we call the rope technique, but I'm gonna put a slight twist on that just to make it more effective because you might have tried the rope technique. This is a way of doing it even better, more effectively. So this is going to work as you go to bed and it's going to work throughout the night. It's hard to say exactly when this will happen, but you can also use this in the daytime as well if you want to. I would say that it's more powerful at night because you're going, when our bodies go from being awake to being asleep, we shift in our brainwave frequencies. We go from beta to alpha to theta and then down all the way into delta, which is the most profound sort of deeply relaxed state we can be in and so as you do this you know you're going to kind of be in these different brainwave states you can kind of experiment yourself with what is the best state to be in to astral project i've found that it tends to be completely dependent on everything else that i'm doing meditation how i'm feeling during the day so let's just get right into the rope technique and my twist on how to do this properly now, I just wanna say before we get into this, it can be incredibly easy to fall asleep during this. You don't wanna fall asleep. <laughs> the only thing you want to not do during this experience is just fall asleep and enter your, you know, it might take you a couple of nights to try this, this rope technique properly. You know, you might not do it the first night. You might actually just find that you immediately fall asleep and you need to try again tomorrow, that's fine. Be patient with this because it might take a bit longer to learn and it's certainly gonna take longer to learn than lucid dreaming. By the way, have you lucid dreams before? I'd love to know about that. Leave a comment below. So here's what you do for the rope technique with my twist. You need to lay down in your bed, okay? And like I said, do this in the evening or in the daytime, whenever you can get a really relaxed and deeply relaxed and calm, relax all of your muscles, turn off all of the lights, or every sound needs to be off. And ideally you need to be in complete darkness. Okay, so focus on your body, focus on your muscles and how you feel. Now, you need to at this point relax yourself so that your body could fall asleep, but it's not going to. So you need to get so tired and relaxed that you could fall asleep, but you're gonna actually keep yourself awake and aware. And now here you will get to the rope technique method. So here's what you do. Imagine that there is, you're laying there, okay? Your eyes are closed, but you can kind of imagine the feeling of pulling yourself up out of the bed, out of your body with a rope. Just over and over again, just imagine this motion of just pulling on a rope and imagine it's really securely fastened to the ceiling so that no matter how hard you pull it, it will always stay there. Again and again and again, focus on pulling on that rope and trying to visualize and feel how it would feel to rise out of your body as you're pulled up out of your body using the rope. Now, after a while, you will actually start to get a sense physically, a sense of how that feels. You will actually start to feel it. And this can take anywhere from five to 50 minutes. It really does depend, but it will feel, no matter how long it does take, it will feel like longer. <laughs> so I'm warning you this now, it will take you what feels like an eternity, but I promise you that it will work eventually, as long as you keep yourself focused on that feeling. Now, after what feels like an eternity, you will start to be ready for what I call the switch. And so what you're gonna do now is, as you've been visualizing for a long time, pulling on this rope and the feeling of how it would feel to you know, rise up out of your body, now you wanna shift your focus to what we will call the above yourself focus. This, you're gonna switch your focus to imagining what it would look like to see yourself from above. Imagine what you look like as you are laying there so imagine now you're like a webcam on the ceiling and you're looking down on yourself, laying down on your bed. You see yourself there, not moving, paralyzed. And that perspective, once you start visualizing that, and if you've been doing the rope technique for long enough, you've been visualizing it properly, that instant 
that you start visualizing the perspective of being above yourself can immediately pull you out of your physical body as if you're being switched and snatched up to the ceiling and now you're looking down on yourself. And just like that, just literally in the blink of an eye, you are now astral projecting. And so the focus was never about the rope. It was about the sensation, about trying to feel the sensation of leaving your physical body. And that was all you needed to sort of trick your mind. I don't want to use the word trick really, because it's, it's not really a trick. It's an ability that we all have. That is all you need to switch yourself to the perspective of being in your astral body. And if you're not careful, you can either fall asleep. That's the most likely thing. Uh, or you can switch up to the astral body and then immediately put, be pulled back down to the physical body uh, if you panic too much or get too excited. <laughs> so much like a lucid dream, you need to stay focused and calm. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, this can take a few days. Don't be annoyed with yourself if it takes a long time. You know, you might have to try this tomorrow or the next night. It might take you a, an entire two weeks or a month to do this, but please keep trying, okay? Try it every night. It will blow your mind when you do this. It, the first time I did this, it was insane to me how this is an ability that we can all learn. This was incredible to me. So please keep trying this, try it every night if you can. And I'd love to hear your experiences in the comments, by the way. So leave a comment below and, and I'll see you in the next video.